Hey guys, Dan the Mustang Doctor here, and we're just doing some major plumbing, as you can see. Um, we're just getting our, all of our uh, intercooler uh, charge pipes and uh, uh, supercharger uh, charge pipe, I guess you could call it, um, all set up and, and plumbed uh, over on the workbench, and then we're gonna bring everything over when we pop the bumper off again, and we're gonna run um, all the charge pipes. So we're gonna, obviously we're gonna have one coming down into the intercooler down intercooler down here and basically what will happen is um, air will come in the intake box over here it'll be fed uh, or I should say sucked um, into the uh, supercharger through that turbine and then it's going to suck it up into there and run it through here down through the intercooler where it's going to uh, cool the air and, and make it more dense so we can jam even more into the engine. It's going to come out of the other side of the intercooler, um, out of the other uh, side of the charge pipe, and run straight up into here and right into the throttle body and straight into the intake manifold and engine. So that's essentially how it works. And right now um, we've got the supercharger mounted um, all set. We've got the uh, throttle body on and throttle body spacer. One of the interesting things with this is we actually had to, uh, you have to put the spacer on, otherwise you're going to rub on the belt for the supercharger. we got to figure this guy out yet too. Um, but you actually have to put the throttle body on um, 180 degrees sideways, which I thought was kind of odd. It's almost upside down. Um, but it's the only way for it to work and, and fit um, in here, okay? We obviously still have the intake air box coming in over here. Uh, we had to pull out the uh, uh, coolant reservoir. That's actually going to go in over there, and it's going to bolt right into that screw right there. Um, they've got a really nice uh, black um, aftermarket uh, coolant reservoir right here. Pop this open so you guys can see it. Plus, my son loves these bubble things. But they did, they did a really good job with this uh, coolant reservoir. Otherwise, that that uh, original gaudy one, which is just this, well, it's right over here. Um, it's that really nasty looking black, uh, somewhat clear plastic device. Um, gets replaced with this really nice black um, welded uh, <clears throat> uh, coolant reservoir. And that's going to go in right there. It's going to bolt right onto there. It's going to bolt down there. Unfortunately, we'll lose the uh, Ford Performance strut tower brace, but like my 97 Cobra, um, when I did that, uh, Ken Bell has you remove the, the uh, strut tower brace as well. They did a bunch of tests and said, um, th they did a bunch of time tests and said that um, the strut tower brace made no difference at all. I kind of find that hard to believe, but I, I know it gives a little bit more rigidity and, and you would think it would corner a little bit better, but I think sometimes when you're out in the track, that you know, a second is hard to, it's hard to make up just from a strut tower brace. So I don't think you can probably see it in the timing like that, but I, I would guess that you would see it in the uh, um, handling a little bit, but to, uh, either way, um, it's going to have to come out and uh, this will go there in place. And uh, we need it to come out anyways because we've got to pull the fuel rails and uh, put the new injectors in anyways. So we're going to get the rest of this plumbed up and uh, <clears throat> then we're going to pop the bumper off and get um, everything lined up and, and installed. And uh, we've got a few more other modifications. Um, we got to route some hoses. So otherwise we're pretty much there and then it'll be off to the computer to do a little bit more tuning. We've been working on a base file. We have one set with uh, with the um, uh, base uh, supercharger, um, the Deutschworks fuel injectors. We've got all of the characterization um, strategies in place, and uh, um, we're going to then start having to dial in the timing a little bit. So um, we'll go from there, and I'll keep you guys posted. Coolant reservoir tank um, goes from here. Uh, over to here, it's going to be mounted right in there. A um, lot nicer than that, which was just sitting up here in front where, that, where the supercharger is. Really in the way and looking terrible. So they did a good job with this. Um, I thought this was really neat that it comes with it. 